Hello, my name is Wendy Trot, and I'm going to take you through a tour of the Irving Middle School Learning Commons. So on the home page right here, we have the library catalog for students, easy to access at, the, at a link right here, the iTech webpage, which will help them with any technology problems they're having, and, and since we are a one-to-one -one district, and also a link to overdrive.com, which is where students can go to find electronic versions of books, e-readers, and audiobooks um, that they have access to. Students can also click on the book recommendations page, and here they'll find goodreads.com, which is a great website that they're able to interact with, write reviews, read reviews, and find books specific to their interests. There's also books that have um, high interest levels that are recommended here, and as the year goes on, these recommendations will change and will be updated by teacher recommendations so students can look and see what their teachers are reading and excited about. The, mission, the Norman Public School Library mission statement can also be found right here. <clears throat> and underneath that, the 2019 Sequoia book list, students can click through. There's a little slideshow that they can watch or click through to find those books and the information so they can read those and they can vote when it comes time for that in the year. The calendar share I shared, it is Ms. Trott's calendar, but it's also kind of the Learning Commons calendar. And there's going to be school information here, what's happening at the school, what's happening in the Learning Commons, um, any lessons that are upcoming. If the Learning Commons will have to be closed for any reason, that will be posted here so students can see and plan accordingly and they know what's going on. There's information, our address, and information where we're located, as well as our contact information is at the bottom of the homepage for the school as well as myself, so people can get in contact with me. And the library hours are found right there. For students, when they come to the page, they have several different places they can go to find information. The student resource page is one for all students. Um, anyone who wants to can access this. There's the catalog again, just in case they missed it before, so they can have access to that. There's also our discussion forum here. Right now it's titled Book Discussion Forum, but that will change. Um, this will become a place for students to read um, reviews about books, as well as ask questions, answer questions, um, share great ideas, or anything like that. It'll be something that I'm looking forward to teaching with the students and, and working with them. And eventually, um, this will also be on their grade-specific page per subject or per grade so they can ask questions about any projects they're working on. Students also have access to research resources here. So if they're looking for any information, these are some great places they can start looking. Um, and they also have a request form for the public library card so they can access that. Students are given free access to that in Norman. <clears throat> As far as grade level specific, I'm going to go to sixth grade. All the grade levels look pretty much the same. Um, they have all the subjects, and then each subject has different information depending on the curriculum that they're working on. Within the just the homepage for sixth grade, um, sixth grade news will be posted right here. As soon as I get permission, there will be a link to the Facebook page for the school as well as any pictures, um, upcoming tests, project due dates, anything like that. That will be updated right in here so it'll be beyond just the learning commons but in their life what's going on kind of a thing. There's also a Google form for students to fill out so if they have any questions or concerns or technology problems or research problems they can go ahead and fill this out it'll go straight to me they don't have to fill out their name or their email so it can be anonymous if they want it to be um, and it's just a way for them to kind of talk to me or let me know what's going on um, and I can get back with them. And I'm also able to help if they share their email. I can answer questions or, or help with anything they might need help with. For each subject, I'm just going to click on one. They're all basically the same. Um, with content specific area, they all have symbols linking them for different projects that that grade level does. Um, I chose this one because this is a link to the teaching unit I'm doing. But you can see the research resources are available as well as the symbol for the grade specific content area that they're doing. The only area that's not true with is math and they just have several links because they don't have that many web pages that I'm aware of yet. I'm working with the math team to add more resources. For the teacher resources, um, they have a website 
or I have a website of the week for them right here that they can go to and look at and just find some great information. It's a way for me to highlight things that they already know about but might have forgotten about um, just in the busyness of their lives or any new teaching tools that are available that they don't know about. It's a great way to highlight those. Um, and those will be added to an additional symbolu so that way teachers can don't lose those once they get changed each week. <coughs> Here this symbolu is just teaching resources available, ready to go, ones that are tried and true, great um, access, they can click on that right here. Also, virtues resources, um, just another place where they can get more research resources for content that they're teaching. We, we use re, uh, the virtues resources to teach behavior management and civic and, and intellectual virtues. There's additional research resources if you click on this tab that teachers can use. The one I wanted to show was the Guided Inquiry tab. So here are some links to the Norman Public Schools Guide, to um, Guided Inquiry, how the district's using it, what's going on, how they align up to standards, as well as Marzano. Um, there's a Guided Inquiry Lesson Plan page that they can click on. So um, they can add what's going on here. And then also there's a calendar so they can see what's going on in the district. <clears throat> the last thing that students can or teachers can check out and interact with and look at is our digital makerspace. So each week I will be pulling one of these websites and highlighting it for students to look at and play with. And any new websites I find I'll also put here. So any new ones will go to website of the week. The makerspace, I really wanted to make it interactive for students and beyond just technology. There's art, there's book writing, there's photography, there's crafting, anything I could think of that really gets the students involved and takes them beyond. Um, the great thing with this too is they find if they find something on here that they'd like for me to add to the makerspace, they can add that in the Google form and just add it as one of the other sections like, hey, I'd really like to start knitting can you please purchase some of these materials? And that way I'm able to keep um, updated with what's going on in the makerspace, both digitally as well as in the learning commons. So that is a brief overview of the learning commons. Um, I hope you enjoyed and thank you so much.